Hi, thank you for listening to my presentation. My project is entitled An Evaluation of NOAA's Level 3 Super Collated Sea Surface Temperature Datasets and was done in collaboration with Peter Cornillan from the University of Rhode Island and X. Prochaska from the University of California, Santa Cruz. The Center for Satellite Applications and Research at NOAA NESDIS has developed three Level 3 Super Collated Global Sea Surface Temperature Datasets, one daytime, one nighttime, and one daily. These were created from a combination of AVHRR and VIRS streams from 2012 through the present. The daily fields between 60 degrees south and 60 degrees north are about 70% clear or cloud-free, where the nighttime fields are less than 25% clear. This is a huge development in the daily fields, but we also know that the combination of data from multiple sensors and times can introduce sub-mesoscale artifacts, limiting the data set's utility for the study of physical processes. The goal of this project is to measure the reliability or structural fidelity of the daily L3S data set at these sub scales. To compare the fields, we took 125 by 125 kilometer cutouts with less than 2% cloud cover from both the L2 VIRS nighttime fields and the level 3 daily fields closest in space and time. Using a probabilistic autoencoder entitled ALMO as developed by Prochaska et al. 2021, each cutout is given a log likelihood value which represents structure, which can then be compared between the VIRS and L3S cutouts. For the results, as we see in figure 1, when directly comparing the log likelihood values of the level 2 and level 3 supercollated cutouts, cutouts outside of these airlines represent the anomalies. The cutouts mostly follow a linear pattern of matched log likelihoods, but on the right we see some examples of cases where the cutouts are outside of the airlines. In the top example, the log likelihood of the VIRS cutout on the right is much lower than the L3S cutout, indicating more structure in the VIRS cutout. In the plotted field, we see this results from artifacts in the VIRS data, likely a cloud, where in this case the L3S model is doing well at reducing the effect of this cloud cover and smoothing out the field. In the example below this one, the log likelihood for the L3S cutout on the left is smaller than the VIRS log likelihood. This represents the creation of artifacts or the addition of structure in the data set compared to the VIRS data. In figures 3, we see histograms for the comparison of log likelihood values and difference in temperature between the 90th and 10th percentile of temperature within these cutouts. In both of these plots, we see the VIRS fields have slightly lower log likelihoods and slightly higher difference in temperature on average. In conclusion, we see in the plot on the left that the majority of locations around the world are fairly well represented in the Level 3 supercollated daily fields. On occasion, Level 3 supercollated daily does introduce artifacts, yet it seems to be a much larger factor in missed clouds in the VIRS dataset, creating the effect of lower log likelihood in the VIRS cutouts that we're seeing. The structural differences are most likely in the equatorial regions and at high latitudes, with the L3S cutouts generally showing more structure. The creation of the daily fields may also result from daytime VIRS AVHRR values even when there is a clear nighttime field available, as we've seen in, in analysis from the Black Sea. This could also contribute to the positive shift of the L3S histogram as compared to the L2 VIRS histogram. This research was completed at the University of Rhode Island Graduate School of Oceanography with the SURFO program. Thank you to David Smith for his support and to both of my mentors throughout this project. Thank you for listening to my presentation.